The great thing about art is, there are no rules. The worst thing about writing, there are so many rules and expectations and criticism. And it hurts. I am not gonna lie, it hurts. So I am really excited about my new adventure as an artist and I cannot wait to show you my new piece. So come on, let's go. Oh my goodness, Kimchi loves it so much. She cannot take her eyes off of it. See what I mean? This is another one of my earlier creations. It's the first one I painted that did not include a horse. This piece was inspired by the book, Life Doesn't Frighten Me. When I first started painting, an artist that really caught my attention was the late Jean-Michael Basquiat. I have to confess, when I first saw his abstract paintings, I thought, hmm, they looked a little like my son's paintings and drawings. But that's a great thing about art. It's art. His art. And who are we to judge? In this book, Basquiat's childlike, really edgy, colorful art was paired with the late, great Maya Angelou's poem, Life Doesn't Frighten Me, which became the title of this book. Angelou's poem is simple and it's confident, and her words are uplifting and they really encourage bravery. I believe everything happens for a reason. This book had been sitting up on my bookshelf for years and I never noticed it before, never read it, but I rediscovered it when I most needed it. Last year when my daughter was being bullied, I was so angry and sad, but most of all fearful for her. I wanted to wrap her up in bubble wrap and stick on a sign that says, handle with care or big mama's gonna come and get you. Unfortunately, I could not do that. This book reminded me that I needed to teach my child to reach in, to find her bravery and courage, and to find her voice so that she can speak up and stand up for herself. Because unfortunately, in life, there will always be bad dogs, big ghosts, and bullies on the playground. So let's teach them to say, I go boom, make them shoo. I make fun, way they run. I won't cry, so they fly. I just smile, and they go wild. Life does not frighten me at all. This book reminds us all, young and some of us older, that we can face down our fears. That if we don't give them the power to hurt us or scare us, they don't have that power. We have it. We all have that special something inside us, that courage that we can tap into. It says so right here. I got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all, not at all. This is my prayer. As I cut out my feathers, hand cut feathers, from the pages of this magnificent book and placed them on the canvas of this art piece, my prayer was that each of us can reach down, find our courage, find our voice to stand up to our bullies, to stand up to the monsters in the closet that scare us because they do not exist. Without fear, anything is possible with courage. Everything is possible. I wrote this poem for all children who whistle in the dark and who refuse to admit that they are frightened out of their wits. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all. Not at all.